Hello guys and welcome to the channel and in this episode we are in Veliko Ternovo in the old capital city of Bulgaria and here we are walking into the old castle of Veliko Ternovo castle. This castle was the first and the second Bulgarian kingdom capital city. On 1393 it was destroyed and it was captured by Ottoman Turks. And here now we're walking towards the Baldwin's Tower. The Baldwin was a Latin emperor, the emperor who captured the Constantinople. And uh, he was defeated by Bulgarian king. And he was captured and kept here until he died. So that's why they call it the Baldwin Tower. You have to be careful here. Man, I can imagine if I was a soldier here. So you guys can see here we are inside the tower. And as you can see behind me, those little, little openings in the wall, you will probably see uh, see the enemy, enemy from here. I'm showing my wife right now. She's so amazed. She can't believe it that we're here finally, and it's such a beautiful place. I was telling her about about some Bulgarian history right now. All right, guys. There's a dungeon here we we discovered. They'll probably like uh, put some POVs, prisoners of war, or maybe there was a some sort of a palace here as a king and a and a queen and some royal nobles here. I don't know. Looks so nice here, but this is as far as we can go. This king, the last one, King Ivan Shishman. 1371 in 1393 it's the last king of Bulgaria when the Ottoman Turks besiege this castle for three months and nobody knows nobody knows how it felt their stories that tell us that somebody at night opened the gate for the Turks and they storm inside, stormed inside so this was the Second castle, second medieval castle that Ottoman Turks uh, took. First they took Byzantium Empire and uh, they besieged Constantinople. After they took Ternovo, they destroyed Bulgarian kingdom. They pretty much destroyed Serbian kingdom, but they were vassals to the Turkish, to Ottoman Turks. And lastly, they took Constantinople Tsarigrad, they call it Tsarigrad here in Bulgaria, the city of kings. And Bulgaria was 500 years under Ottoman slavery, Ottoman yoke. So we are going to the museum, guys. We had a chance to enter the museum of uh, historical museum in Veliko Ternovo and uh, as soon as you enter there you dive into that medieval fashion and medieval atmosphere. So it's notable sculptures and paintings presented by historical figures and events from the period of the second Bulgarian kingdom. It recreates the lives of different social layers and medieval Bulgarian society, monarch, clergy, boyars, warriors and craftsmen as you can see here guys you can you can actually observe how they used to make pottery how they made money and how they were building uh, walls and buildings everything is illustrated this museum is still in progress and we were when we were there they told us that they're planning to build second and third floor and visitors will experience a rich history of royal city of Ternovgrad as a symbol of royalty, glory and spiritual power. And here is King Kaluyan, Bulgarian king is capturing the Emperor Baldwin of Flanders. A chain is wrapped around his neck and irons are placed on his legs. In this form he was taken to Terno and thrown into a dungeon. Into the same dungeon, into the same tower I just showed you earlier. Unable to fulfill 
even one year of his power as Emperor of Constantinople, he was probably killed by order of King of Bulgaria. And here you can see the Kuman soldier. Kumans, they were uh, just the steppes north of Bulgaria, Kumans and Pechenegs. They were mercenaries to the Bulgarian army. And here you can see the Kuman soldiers leading, holding the Baldwin of Flanders and the defeated Crusader army at Battle of Adrianopolis are defeated and no longer exist anymore. Bulari, the name of Bulari that means noble man. The people that who were like really close to the king. And here you see that the whole family is going to church. They're painting here. There's a painter, there's a special guy that mixes the paint. Yeah, mixes the paint. So guys, the menu is amazing. It's gonna take me probably half an hour to choose what I want. Alright guys, so if you go to Bulgaria, you have to try Zagorka beer, it's the best beer ever. It's the only one beer that I don't have a headache afterwards. I drink like a Stella Artois, I drink Heineken, but this is the beer, so cheers for you guys and see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, thank you for watching my video. Okay. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next journey.